Target is a huge chainsaw store. <laughs> chainsaw? <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> This is exhausting. Aloha Spring Colorinos, my name is Louise. I make new videos every Monday and Thursday, so do subscribe. And today, we are doing a huge Target haul. Target is a huge store, a chain store, I almost said chainsaw, in America and maybe other countries, but I don't know. I do know it's definitely not in England. And if you're unfamiliar, it's basically, imagine Sainsbury's, Asda and Tesco and all those sort of supermarkets, homeware and clothing sections made sweet, sweet love to home scents and like the homey section of like TK Maxx. And then they had a baby and then that's what Target is. Everything you can imagine was there and it was like some kind of heaven and to make it even better there was popcorn you put it in your trolley and then push around and like shovel in popcorn as you impulse buy things and basically feel like you're in some sort of Nevada it was Nirvana? Nevada Nevada's a, a place, Nirvana, heavenly, a heavenly place of joy um, so I went to the heavenly place of joy and really really did splurge, whoopsie, quite a lot um, and I thought you might like to see some of the things I bought. So I have um, travelled back with all of this, so I had it all in my case, but I saved one bag to, well, basically show you for this video. Um, and I'm just going to take things out of the bag without any, like, real rhyme or reason. I'm just going to go from top to bottom. Um, and I'm going to start off with, I think most of this is Darcy related, in case you are new. Darcy is my four-year-old daughter. This first set um, for $15.99. I think they came in a set of like two sets of pajamas, but I've taken off the hangers. Um, first of all, this adorable little white cotton top that says, I'm not a morning person. It's very sparkly and has this lovely little owl face on it. And I love that the owl is like mint and neon and turquoise and sparkly. I think that's just so cute with this slightly neon pink trim. To go with the little owly top are these really sweet little mint green owly pajama bottoms. I think they're super, super cute. They're very, very lovely, soft sort of cotton jersey fabric and they have the sweet little um, clouds and moon and owls and they're cuffed at the bottom which I think look really really sweet on like little kitty legs these like classic classic pajama shaped pajamas if that makes any sense mums will know what I'm talking about next up in the pajama stakes is this set that came like in a set of two so let me just pull it apart oh the first one is a short sleeve t-shirt with the stars on, it's got white stars on a neon background and it says super cute in sparkly gold and Darcy is super cute and then it has the matching PJ bottoms which are the same pink fabric with the white things on. I think it would be fun to mix and match some of these but that's the set that it all goes together. Still on pyjamas, I really did stock up. This is really gorgeous pink set that says, staying awake is my superpower, and it has a really cute little bunny on with the gold sparkly accents on it. And I just think that's like a really fun. I don't normally go for things with cartoons on, but I think that they're cute cartoons. And then the pyjama bottom is what sold it to me with loads of the bunny still with the glitter accents. I just think that's very cute. And staying awake is Darcy's superpower. Um, last set for pyjamas is this grey set that just says love to stay up late and the love is like a really sweet like embroidered on thing and it's grey with the pink and neon I think that green and neon seem to be like a theme in there collection in there was like the neons and the mint and I was really happy with it all so she's all set for pyjamas for a really long time I think in fact there might be some more in here or in her bedroom I really went to town on them Fast forwarding ahead in my mind to summer, um, even though it's very cold and wintry right now, I picked up this really, really sweet swimsuit. This is in a 5T, which means like toddler five. Um, so it will fit her by then. And I just think it's the most adorable little swimsuit I've ever seen. It's got ruffles, it has lace, it has like a little flower on the top. And I just think it's just really sweet and I can't wait for her to like run around the garden in that and like go for swimming lessons and things. And then, just when I thought things couldn't get any cuter, they did. They did get cuter, they did. Uh, I found the matching flip flops. Um, what do you call um, a French man that makes shoes? Philippe Flop. Uh -huh. 
them, got them, didn't I? Good, moving on. Um, this little, sweet little top for her. Um, I don't know why I was so drawn in by all the neons, but I think it's because we've had such a long winter and everything's been all drab colours. So I got overexcited to see something like a joyous thing, like a sparkly neon cake. And of course, a glitter on, so, you know, glitter, sprinkle of glitter. Look what happened. Right, so I don't have to keep bending down. I've got all the clothes out and we'll quickly go through them. I found the other pair of pyjamas that I suspected were in her bedroom, but they were not. I had the foresight to put them in the bag. Um, it's these cookies and milk pyjamas. She's been wearing them, which is why they're a little bit crumpled. Cookies and milk, could you be any cuter? No, you legitimately could not. Okay, moving on to tops that I bought her. I picked up a few things that might be good for layering and great with jeans and stuff for spring. So first of all, um, is this grey top. And this one actually wasn't in the toddler section. This is from the Cherokee range, which I think they used to do in Tesco's. Um, so I went for extra small, which is four to five. And it's this lovely grey top with this really nice foil effect heart detailing on. I just think it's really pretty um, and would look really casual, but also like quite like quite fabulous. Also, I picked up this long sleeved tee that has this really sweet um, ice cream sorbet thing on. I like the colours on this. I think it's really nice to have the pink with the glitter on, like the iridescent glitter, and then this really nice kind of watermelony red colour, and then the gold. I just think that's really, really sweet and will look nice in spring with skirts and jeans. Also to go with jeans, another long sleeve tee, but with little roll up sleeves with this button detailing that makes me just want to die of it because it's so cute. And then matching detailing on the pocket. Plus I have a top like this and sometimes I like to match us and do like mummy and me days. So that will be saved for a mummy and me day. And then another, are you long sleeve? I won't undo it, but a long sleeve t-shirt with these like puff paint neon dots on and sparkles. I just think they're really cute, puffy. They've got a nice texture to them and it's just a bit of fun. I mean, if you can't wear neon puffy paint dots when you're four, when can you? Which also applies to these leggings. Thank you very much. If puff paint were ever to be a fabric, it would be this. I think this is glorious. This to me is happiness in a legging leg. It's beautiful. Um, what do you think? I know some people would think these are horrible. I think Marie was like, Ugh, when I picked them up, but I rather enjoy them a lot. To go with that top with the stripes and the detailing are these matching leggings, which is the same detailing as at the top. And then just to go with everything this spring, I got her this neon jacket. Is there a price in it? No, um, but I like that it's a dark neon. She has a lighter neon, um, but I thought this would be really cute and it would just go with everything this spring, including, look at this segue, OMFG, the most beautiful little skirt you ever did see. It's a really, really lovely, like maybe like linen cotton blend with pockets and it's all elasticated and just foofy and cute and I love the colours, the spring colours in it and I also like that it has a bit of black on it which I think is unusual for children's clothes. And then finally is this little dress which I just thought was so sweet. This is the first thing I picked up in there. It's like a smock dress so it'll be super comfortable. Does it have pockets? No it does not. And it's like a jersey fabric with this little, little cute little blue button turn up cuteness and then a zip at the back and it's got these little boats on and I thought this would be fun when we have our days by the lake and she can wear it with little flip flops and her denim jacket and sunglasses and look like the most badass four or five year old the world has ever seen. Changing gear slightly, if you like stickers you are about to be very excited because I am excited and I like stickers. I will just quickly go through them and do a little close up for you but the first one I bought for one dollar and you get six pages which is 252 stickers. Are you kidding me? Just bazillions of stickers. The reason I want all these stickers is you may or may not know I launched a diary, a 2016 diary for you to organise your lives with, like a planner sort of thing and I really want to jazz it up with stickers so I bought these and I love that there's some of them so like BFF and love and sweetie and hello and be mine. They're all kind of love themed obviously for Valentine's Day but I think I could use these 
all year round. So I got a book of those for a dollar. And then also for a dollar, I got this huge sheet of holographic stickers, um, which I think is so cute because they're little like woodland animals that say best friends forever. So on days when I'm having like friends come over, I'm having a friend night, I'm going to stick a special friend sticker. Um, if you're interested in the diary, I will link it below. And also I tend to do weekly Instagram pictures of like, what my mine looks like. It's not like, you know, when you see those like planner enthusiasts that have incredible planners, mine really isn't like that. It's like one that I just scribble all my stuff in. But if you're interested in the stuff I scribble, then give it a go. Next up, also from the dollar spot, I bought two of these. Um, they're sheets of 40 heart stickers and they're a little bit raised and I thought they were fun. Um, and I thought I'd give Darcy a, sh a sheet of these. Another, um, pack of the ones that were like 500 billion ones for a dollar again for Darcy Then these I got these in the crafty section. These are foil stickers Wow These are fancy oh, I can't open it so strong Um, well these are nice aren't they? There's, they're not all foiled They've made me believe that they're all foiled on the outside of the packet But some of them are some of them aren't I think they're cute. I'll get a lot of use out of those. Oh look, there's bigger ones. I like those a lot. They'll look nice in my diary. And then last but not least for the stickers, um, I'll share these with Darcy because there's 110 on the page. These really nice like foily pink and peach yellow hearts again for only one dollar. If anyone was ever impressed by the dollar spot of Target, it's me. So with Valentine's Day coming up, I wanted to make it like quite special for Darcy and I. Obviously, I have no man to send me a Valentine's card, but I do have a beautiful little girl who I can make special times with. I bought these milk bottles with straws and pink lids. They're glass and straws are like super cute little swirly ones and I like that you can put the lid on. So they're not watertight, like if she dropped this, stuff would come out, but I think they're really, really sweet, so I might do like pink milkshake. Then for her classmates, um, I bought this little pack of slinkies. They're in my vlog actually, so you'll, if you're watching those on Sprinkle Chatter, do subscribe to that channel. Um, you will see when I bought them and how excited I was for them. Like I was very excited. Um, and they have little tags that say Happy Valentine's Day. So I thought it might be sweet for Darcy just to write her name on them, and she can give them to all of her friends at school. Gift tags. I don't know why I bought these. One dollar I paid for these. They're just gift tags that say, you're nice, hug me, hey, okay. I think this is what happens. You go to the dollar spot and maybe make some rash purchases. Um, I bought these straws, 10 card, that's the word I'm looking for, paper card straws. Um, and they have little hearts on and I think I might do a craft project with those. So they won't be wasted. My favourite thing that I got for one dollar is this amazing little felt envelope with button detailing to like open it up. And what I'm gonna do is put this either at the end of Darcy's bed or maybe like with a little Valentine's display and then inside I'll put a little Valentine's Day card for her which I'll show you at the very end. And it has this lovely, um, what's this called, rick-racking around the edge. I just think this is super cute and I can get it out year after year and it's just gonna make like my mummy and Darcy day really sweet for Valentine's. And finally, from the dollar section, uh, for a dollar, are these paper straws that have the hearts on. Um, so I'll use a couple of them, but then I might save them for parties and things. Last few things I bought, um, I bought some headbands for Darcy in my favorite colors at the moment, which are turquoise, gold, and silver. I think they'll be really sweet. And also, I tend to like pinch these myself and use them. Um, a candle that says choose happiness and I initially bought it because it's grey and as you can see I like grey a lot but then when I smelt it it's sparkling yuzu, don't know what that is, and lime. I wish this was smell vision This smells like the minute when you wake up and you realise it's your birthday and it's the day you're getting the present you wanted for ages and seeing all, all your friends and you've remembered that you've bought new gold sparkly shoes and a brand new dress that makes your boobs look great. That's what this smells like. Sort of limey. And then very, 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 very last but by no means least is the sweetest little Valentine's card you ever did see. This says daughter on it and it has little googly eyes but the googly eyes have hearts in for God's sake and then inside it says you're the kind of Valentine's sweet everybody loves. Happy happy hearts day. 
So I'm going to give that to Darcy and I'm going to put it in this little thing and make a little thing of it. I think that oftentimes Valentine's Day is like super focused on boyfriends and girlfriends and husbands and wives and I have been a wife and a girlfriend and it was nice but it's also nice to like focus on friends and family and just like make it what you will you don't have to be sad on Valentine's Day. I hope you've enjoyed this video there are links below to my second channel where I actually went round Target and I vlogged all of it and it was like the most fun. Um, the diary if you would like it um, you're a bit late to the game because it started in January but you're not too late to get one um, and just tons of other stuff below and I will see you on Thursday for another fabulous video. Thanks for watching. Bye!